that we can utilize this friend to overcome any obstacle that crosses your path. You follow the whispers of your intuition. That you are capable of achieving anything you set your mind to. That we can utilize this friend to overcome any obstacle that crosses your path. You are a spirit inside of a physical body localized in a three-dimensional physical reality you get a set of tools designed to navigate the environment but at the core of who you are is a portal into the universal realm the third eye exists but it doesn't look out at the physical world you've got two physical eyes for that the third eye looks out at the holographic matrix of informational totality outside sources are the only way we've been taught to connect with the divine plane but actually the temple to reach divine connection is within each of us the pineal gland a small yet mysterious organ located deep within the center of the brain holds great significance as a gateway between the physical and spiritual realms while its existence is widely known the true nature of its function remains a well-kept secret medical students are often taught that it is a crooked and insignificant organ but in truth the pineal gland holds immense potential for unlocking higher states of consciousness. Throughout history, ancient cultures and traditions have revered the pineal gland as the key to unlocking all universal connection and divine nature. As an integral part of the endocrine system, this tiny yet powerful gland has been associated with the highest levels of spiritual awareness and awakening. French philosopher René Descartes famously called the pineal gland the seat of the soul, believing it to be the place in which our thoughts are formed. In Indian Hinduism, the chakra energy system corresponds to the glands of the endocrine system with the pineal gland being associated with the third eye, which is believed to serve as a gateway to clairvoyance and enlightenment. In addition to its spiritual significance, the pineal gland has also played a role in many ancient mythologies and cultures. For example, within Freemasonry, the gland is often associated with the vision of the Cyclops, while in ancient Egypt, it is known as the Eye of Horus. In sacred geometry, the Eye of Horus is believed to accurately correspond with all the structures of the brain. In the Asian world, the pineal gland is often referred to as the third eye or center of clairvoyance and intuition. It is clear that the pineal gland holds a deep and profound significance for many cultures and traditions throughout history. While modern science has yet to fully understand the gland's true potential, its importance and potential for unlocking higher states of consciousness cannot be denied. The pineal gland truly is a remarkable and mysterious organ that continues to captivate and intrigue those who seek to understand the true nature of our existence. The pineal gland is our third eye. It is the organ through which we dream and imagine and, once it is activated, it is also the organ that connects us to other dimensions of reality. The pineal gland is part of the visual system. It receives messages along fibers from nerve cells of the suprachiasmatic nucleus of the hypothalamus, which themselves receive signals from the eye via fibers of the optic nerve. Your third eye literally is an eye. The interior of the pineal gland has retinal tissue composed of photoreceptor cells and is filled with vitreous fluid just like the eyes. It is even wired to the visual cortex. As with the regular eye, the pineal eye is made up of a cornea, a lens and a retina. Why would you have an eye inside your head that is not capable of looking out at the external three-dimensional world? Or perhaps the better question might be why we do not know its purpose and how to activate it. There's a lot of scientific speculation about the purpose of the third eye, calling it non-visual because it doesn't look out to the external world and therefore doesn't fit our model of understanding. But none of this speculation is rooted in the experience of individuals who understand and have experience with the real use of this organ. The pineal gland has photoreceptors on it and yet they knew that thousands of years ago. References to the pineal gland can be found in ancient Egyptian carvings and artifacts. Egyptian symbols of the Eye of Horus and Eye of Ra both closely resemble the pineal gland and where it resides in the brain. It has also been known to be called the third eye because when stimulated and activated to the next level it gives us profound inner vision. When there is no light, the pineal gland produces melatonin and when there is light it produces serotonin. It also produces a substance called DMT also known as the spiritual molecule that is responsible for us visualizing images in dreams. DMT is the lens of our pineal gland, allowing us to see wider areas of reality than are normally accessible to our senses. DMT is a psychoactive compound that is found in the human body as well as in animals and at least 60 species of plants. It is the most powerful hallucinogenic found in the wild and has profound effects on consciousness. It is also the main chemical component in the psychoactive ceremonial drink ayahuasca. Ayahuasca is the ceremonial drink at the center of traditional practices of the mind-body medicine movement. These are essentially shamanic practices held in ceremonies mostly held in Peru. 
When dantotryptamine is isolated from its source and contained in a form where it can be ingested, it is considered an illegal drug in most countries worldwide. When taken this way, the effects are nothing short of mystical with users reporting similar experiences of encountering otherworldly entities and traveling outside of time and space. One of the things that's unique about DMT is that it seems to get you into a state where there's an intelligence guiding you. Some speculate that these might be extra-dimensional beings, angels, spirit guides, ancestors, etc. The pineal gland releases DMT in large amounts while dreaming and when we die, and it accounts for the mystical near-death experiences that some people report. EMT is so powerful that it can carry an individual's consciousness through different dimensions. As if finding DMT in the pineal gland wasn't mysterious enough, another recent discovery was quite baffling. In 2002, scientists made the exciting discovery that calcite microcrystals exist on the pineal gland and that these crystals can interact with electromagnetic fields. These crystals have piezoelectric properties with excitability in the frequency range of mobile telecommunications. They theorize that the interactions of these crystals with global systems for mobile telecommunication waves could constitute a new mechanism of transduction of the pineal membrane. What this means is that our pineal gland is an electromagnetic transmitting and receiving mechanism. It is a wireless transmitter that links us with universal consciousness. By practicing deep breathing during meditation, we can activate the pineal gland and recapture the spiritual connection that is everyone's right to access. As you breathe and slowly follow your breath, you will begin to push cerebral spinal fluid up into your brain. A rigorous deep breathing meditation practice eventually pushes that fluid right up against the crystals of the pineal gland and then the mechanical stress begins to electrically activate those crystals which turn on the radio receiver in the brain. This is what is called a spiritual or Kundalini awakening. In addition, a 2013 study at the University of Melbourne found that Wi-Fi signals interfere with the function of the pineal gland to produce melatonin, and so experts suggest shutting it off before going to bed. Overall, the gland and its functions are still very much a mystery to modern science. The ancients knew about the pineal gland's amazing spiritual potential but while most of that knowledge seems to have been lost to the modern world, it is certain that this tiny endocrine gland called the pineal gland has a history of mysticism that spans thousands of years. Our pineal gland is our cosmic antenna to higher dimensions. We are aware of the potential and benefits of the use of external electronic devices, but are we aware of the potential and benefits of the use of our internal electronic devices? The human body is an instrument with a range of ability that reaches from the quantum mechanical foundations of matter up to the macrocosm of galaxies. It is an incredibly advanced instrument for the exploration of nature. We think we can't learn anything about quantum physics unless we build an instrument 16 kilometers in diameter that costs a hundred billion dollars. This is because of our obsession with the external, but the shaman knows that the human body is a superb instrument. While we search for communication from intelligent alien civilizations using technology which tries to manipulate natural energy to cut through the physical space-time reality, an advanced civilization would have known that their biochemistries are the true transmitters of radio waves and would therefore initiate contact, not through technology, but through telepathy. What can we gain by sailing to the moon if we are not able to cross the abyss that separates us from ourselves? This is the most important of all voyages of discovery and without it all the rest are not only useless but disastrous. But with it, all else is possible. 